Welcome back to another episode of the Michigan Magnet Man. Today we are down here in Detroit, Michigan, and I've got a special guest for you today. We've got Jason from Avery and Dad Adventures with us here today, and we are fishing down here near the Jefferson Bridge. So hopefully we find a lot of really big things. He has found a lot of cool stuff right here on this part of the river to include guns, motorcycle frames, you name it. So there's a lot of big things in the water here. So it's gonna be a promising day. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get these magnets in the water. This is my cousin Gabino. This is his first time magnet fishing. So I'm pretty honored to go ahead and take him do that for the first time. Hopefully he's got some good luck. He's gonna be throwing a big 3,600 pound magnet today that he's gonna be borrowing from Jason. So hopefully his first time out here is gonna be one for the record book. All right guys, we got the magnet all hooked up. I'm gonna be throwing my 1,500 pound single-sided Brute Magnetics magnet today. I've got it hooked up to my 100 foot rope. Now, I normally use a double-sided magnet when I'm out here magnet fishing, and I do typically fish from the shore a lot more than I do from bridges. So I'm looking forward to using a single-sided magnet today just to keep it a little bit different. Like I said, I've only been using a double-sided, so it should be a nice change of pace. Now, if you guys watched last week's video, it's when I broke out this 1,500 pound magnet for the first time. I didn't have much luck, but I did catch that brick that you guys saw. I thought that was pretty interesting. Since then, I've uh, looked it up a little bit, and a lot of people do illegal fish traps, apparently, back in the day, by setting up cinder blocks like that with um, coat hangers around them and tying fishing lures to them. And that's exactly what I was finding out there. When I'm pulling up this magnet, I'm noticing it's feeling a little bit different on the bottom of the river compared to my double-sided magnet. Mostly because it's a single-sided magnet. I feel like I'm getting more pull up and down than I would be with a light. I haven't really felt anything clip onto her yet, though. And on our first part of the day, we just have a little piece of scrap. Is that going to come over? So, we just had to hurry up and get off the bridge. All of our equipment on. There's a boat coming. They're about to raise the bridge up. So now the boat is starting to make its way up through the bridge where we were just magnet fishing at. I believe the boat's stirring stuff up, so the seagulls up behind them are coming out to eat now it looks like. They're diving down in. Uh, that was it, cut us off guard. We were having to move out of there really quick. Um, Jason had just caught this giant metal plate, so we had to pull it up super fast or else we weren't gonna make it. Luckily we got it up. Hopefully I got some of it on camera. I was in the process of moving all my stuff over to the other side anyways, so I do believe I at least got some sound of me running. But uh, yeah, hopefully Jason caught some stuff on the GoPro. December 2nd, I'm heading over to Indiana to do some filming. Got another collaboration going on. Ooh, that's a lot deeper right there than it was over there. Well, that should be a good time. The winter is slowly gonna be moving in, guys. The snow is expected. We got the snow blower out this past week, and I am fully expecting some snow in the next month or so. Hopefully not a ton. Coming back from California, I kind of dread snow a little bit. So if you look at my magnet, you're gonna see that there's just a lot of like sludge and stuff that's magnetic that's down there at that bottom. Um, I do have a scraper with me now. Jason, let me borrow a scraper to use. I've never had a need to use a scraper, but I've never had a single-sided magnet before. Is that your first find? And on Gavino's first find ever, it looks like he's got a piece of cable. And we'll come and look and see how Jason's doing over here. He is finding quite a, big, a bit of scrap over on this side. We're not finding as much over on our side over here, but we're just getting started. And it looks like he's got another little piece of wire on a second find. And Gavino just pulled in this old part of the bridge. Yeah. What you got there? So it looks like maybe a blade of some sort, butter knife, you know. That find, I've got a piece of bracket, a little tiny screw looks like, 
and a bottle cap. Whew. And it looks like I caught this little piece of bar. And I've also got this piece of pipe, but on the inside of the pipe, there's a giant square piece in there. I don't know if you can see that, but pretty cool. Oh, there we go. There's the square piece. This little piece of pipe. That fine, it looks like we've got a giant piece of plate. Holy crap! He's got like a three foot long bolt over it. <laughs> <laughs> now, I also just caught this little bracket out there. So like I said, I'm gonna throw it as far as I can towards that building and hope for the best. a real far throw. I got it right on the right Twice. Ooh. I'm always just can't, just can't see it. Hammer? <laughs> on that find, it looks like we got a bunch of little pieces of bar. Um, this looks like it could be from a like trailer hitch. A couple washers on the end here. Not a bad throw. You can do it! <laughs> With my next find, I've got this giant spike. What do you got there? That is cool. Big old pipe with a piece of wood connected to it. That is definitely the biggest find of the day. We're going to be heading to Frankenmuth, Michigan here in the next couple weeks to go film an episode at Bronner's. Now, Frankenmuth, Michigan is known as Little Bavaria. They've got a ton of German buildings around the entire area. They have a huge German and Polish culture over there. Um, they have a place called Bronner's, which is the largest Christmas store in the United States. It's pretty crazy. I can't wait to show you guys that. Just, you need a map when you're in that place to actually like see where you're at. So this water definitely has a smell to it. It's not pleasant. Like this is the industrial area of Detroit, so this water is super polluted. And on that find, oh, we got some fish eggs on there. But it looks like we got another couple little uh, bolts and another bracket. And on that find, I've got another bracket and some more nails. And on that find, we've got a metal plate. That's going to be all for today's episode, guys. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and hit subscribe and get those alerts turned on so you can be notified when I post new content. I post new videos to my YouTube every single Friday, and I post clips to my Instagram every single day. I'll see you guys next week.